Hey, so I actually thought I just recorded the video, but I was not recording anything. So, hello. I'm walking today from Caldas de Raiz to Padrón. Padrón, where the peppers are from. You know, Pimentos de Padrón. I look forward to eat them all there. I left later than I wanted to, but also because last night I had a great night. I went out for dinner with some of the other pilgrims I have met. We have walked together. Actually, it's so fun. Like some of them I met the first day, like back in Porto. So it's very cool. And I decided to split my last st stage from Padron to Santiago, which is 25K. I split it into, so I'm doing 15K and then 10K because yeah. Oh, now it's 43, yeah. It's nothing in comparison to the 260 it was at the beginning. However, I really want to, you know, I had enough time. And of course I can do 25K, like no, no doubt. But I also want to enjoy Santiago. So I don't want to arrive or like dying and limping. So, and also there are hot days now. So I split it and then it's, you know, kind of taking it easy. Uh, and then I'm gonna have some time to spend on Santiago, maybe go to Finisterra or Murcia, I'll see. And, and I booked everything ahead also because I noticed that, yeah, now there's more people and also Santiago itself, it was actually quite busy. Uh, like online to find a hotel. Pretty sure I could find one getting there, but I also don't want to pay more just because I booked it last minute. So, so yeah, that's maybe very Dutch of me. I don't care, but I look forward uh, to get to Santiago. And this is beautiful again. So yeah, the last days, yay. See you, hey, hey, so. Actually, another thing that made a difference is stretching in the morning. You remember how at the beginning I was doing yoga every morning before leaving? That was great, it lasted like for three days because then I was too tired. But actually it's worth it because it saves pain later on. So yesterday I was walking with a doctor and I told, yeah, you know, we were just commenting and he asked me about the leg and everything and he asked me if I was stretching in the mornings and I said, well, not not anymore because, yeah, you know, like I just wake up and go, he's like, well, a stretch <laughs> it makes a difference. I mean, because it's just muscular pain. And so I did. And of course, I've been massaging my legs with uh, a cooling gel I got with Arnica. And it's great. Honestly, the body's amazing. Like you're dead in the evening, but then you wake up and like, you're properly rested even you know there's people snoring and stuff i mean not yesterday because i was in a hotel in a proper hotel with everything for myself but when you're in a hostel yeah like people snoring or noises or whatever and i have my earplugs of course but still um but yeah then you wake up like properly rested and it's truly the importance of sleeping like our bodies are amazing they just recover properly and relatively fast you know it's just i don't know just like eight hours seven hours and then boom ready to go so anyway this morning i did spend the time i did like not a lot but like 30 minutes of yoga and yeah i do see a difference and um, that i didn't feel you know like a little muscle ache at the beginning when starting which i had felt the previous i don't know like three days which goes away once you start walking but i guess it's the i don't know like the warming up or the stretching and preparing the muscles beforehand so yeah i never knew the importance of those things same as the difference in shoes and pants for trekking hiking walking etc oh my god everything has a purpose Okay, see you. Hey, hey. So, I'm um, walking and you know, in the morning, I thought it was gonna be like 16K or something like that. But I realized it was from a point of departure farther from where I was. So then it's like 20K. But okay, I'm almost halfway. 
the thing is that my leg it's like the front of my left thigh uh, it's just the muscle but it started aching again I stopped and massaged it and I put my Healy on I hope it works um, but yeah I mean I'm obviously I'm sure I will finish but I guess I'm going slower than usual and just taking more rest, rest stops but the good thing is that it's very beautiful and the weather is nicer than expected so it's a little bit cloudy at some point I was like oh my god is it gonna rain because I didn't bring my raincoat but it's fine uh, even if it rains I don't think it's gonna be that long but anyway I'm going and I see also more pilgrims because yeah since Spain there's way more oh uh, okay I'm excited to, to get to Santiago but anyway talk to you later hey hey so I'm almost today at my destination Padron where the peppers are from um, but I must say oh my god today has been a tough day and not so much for the stage but it was at like 19 or 20k something like that it had some heels but not extreme it was beautiful but oh my god i had so much pain in my in my leg at some point it it was very painful and really the camino provides like i met this amazing lady who had ibuprofen and uh she gave me some ibuprofen she lent me her walking stick because i really i was i was in so much pain and um and we were in the like in the not in the mountain but it was like in the woods um some hills which normally would be totally fine it was not even like like steep hills or anything but i was in so much pain that i was going super slow and so painful and then um yeah i found her i had met her earlier in a coffee look 27.62 but anyway and she really saved me like she had ibuprofen and uh she lent me her walking stick and you know like we hugged and then later on we stopped and then we met some people i had met earlier and another one had a cream um like with diclofenaco so i don't know how to say it in english but anyway it's like an, an analgesic to to stop pain so i also put it on and then i have my thing for you know it's like a thing for the knee like to compress the knee i bought them and i brought them just in case thank god my knees have been totally fine but i thought okay i will put it there to put more pressure and it was it was good all the things combined oh and of course i also did a lot of stretching i also connected to earth and you know sent light to my leg um and everything helped and yeah now i'm almost done it's like one kilometer to go i'm already in the town but uh it's a small well it's supposed to be a city but i guess i'm in the outskirts like it's officially already padron but it's just fields but it's just one kilometer like i'm already here but oh my god and luckily i split my stages to santiago so i'm not gonna do 25k on a row i'm gonna do um more well it's more or less like 17 and then or 17 point something and then it's about eight the next day because it's also a hill and i intend to buy um walking poles even if i have to wait tomorrow for the stores to open because of course it's sunday in spain in a town so nothing is open but even if i have to wait i will to to get some of those and also painkillers uh yeah i'm normally like oh the body will heal and all that which is great but if you want to continue yeah yeah you uh, I know I can, by the way, like my body is totally fine and it's just muscle aches or nothing serious. Uh, also, I was walking with a doctor and she gave me some advice. So that's good. Um, 
but yeah i'm you know respecting my body and uh so i split the next stage so then on the 27th i'll be in santiago so looking forward to see you hey hey so i made it to padron but i must say today was my toughest day i really had a strong pain in my leg but um an angel appeared an angel named christine and she saved the day she gave me some ibuprofen and also um lend me he her walking pole that made a huge difference really the camino provides then i met another lady mireya from spain who have whom i have met before and she um, um had some cream also with for muscle pain because like i transferred my backpack i didn't have any of those things with me at the moment and um yeah and then i walked with Chris with christine along the way and it was very nice and then almost at the end i met some friends they were having a drink in a bar and i joined them with a coke a full sugar coke which i haven't drank in a long time um, and it was very nice now uh, we will go for dinner soon and tomorrow i split it in two thank god i booked already everything the hotels in santiago the hostel in Milleiro, which i'm staying something like that i'm not sure how it's pronounced and yeah and also it's sunday so i wanted to stop at a pharmacy and a sports store to buy walking poles and you know um some painkillers but really the camino provides like I found another Spanish couple I've met a couple of days ago and they are nurses so gave me pills to for the pain to take tomorrow and also for tonight later on and the walking poles in the alberga I wanted to buy but they didn't sell but they had some that somebody left a long time ago so they were you know like uh, there like nobody was using them so they gave them to me so I'm very very thankful like basically I found everything I needed even though everything was closed so yeah and now I'm 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 my leg is feeling good now so we're gonna go for dinner and I'm gonna have a proper rest um, tomorrow I'll do 17 kilometers more or less and then the next day it's around like seven point something to Santiago so finally I'm so happy can't wait and um, yeah so um, that seems